Welcome to Exploring with D-Rob. Let's go. Good morning, welcome back. Up in the red this morning. Today's Black Friday. Caught a good sunrise yesterday morning at Cedar Creek Lake. Thought I'd run up to the red this morning, try to catch the sunrise up here. Clouds hit the horizon about sunrise, so it wasn't a spectacular sunrise, but still got a little color. Since I'm already out this way, decided to make the next stop be Sky Bridge. Been here on video several times already. I'll uh, link one of my videos. It's got quite a bit of stuff out in this area. Ain't really got a set plan today. Got a few friends that may be up in the area later, may meet up with a couple of them. Gonna go down and check out Sky Bridge right now. Let's go. Coming up on Sky Bridge now. Not a lot of color left in the woods. Still some uh, oak leaves hanging around. Though. Looks like a little fog starting to kick up here around the arch as well. Trying to get a few images of Sky Bridge Arch. Starting to get a little traffic though, having to wake people out. Here's a little different angle than what you usually see a sky bridge. From this vantage point, you can also look to your right and get a good look across at the hen's nest right. A little fog rising up off the river. I think I got a couple decent shots over through there as well. Made her way up to the top of the arch. 
Some of the best views on this end of the gorge can be had from the top of Sky Bridge. This view back to the east gives you a nice look over the top of the Swift Camp Creek Valley over into the Clifty Wilderness. And if you step over to the right, looking back west, this is over towards Buzzard's Roost North. Big rock over there I mentioned earlier, Hen's Nest Rock. And as you pan back to the right, start looking back over the Clifty Wilderness. Really nice views from the top of Sky Bridge. Somewhat of a side profile looking down from the top of Sky Bridge. Well, that'll wrap it up at Sky Bridge. I'm gonna head back out Sky Bridge Road. I think I'll go check out an overlook that I've not been to before, so means I've not been to it on video either. It'll be somewhere new to you and me. Let's go check it out. Parking for this overlook is going to be at the Buzzard Roof South Overlook parking. Or roadside overlook. Looks down to Buzzard Roof South. Park on the right side of the road here. Make out a little user trail. Cuts over into the woods. This will lead us out towards the overlook. The trail leads up this little finger ridge. It'll lead us out to this little overlook, as you can tell. Pretty worn little path. So, while it's lesser known, it does still get some traffic. It's only a few hundred feet out through here. Well, let's say a hundred yards. It's out of sight of the road. And as you can tell, people probably have camped here. Got a little fire ring, a couple of logs laying around. This little overlook gives us a similar viewpoint to what I had for sunrise this morning. Just a tad bit more obstructed. We've got a few trees here right along the edge of the cliff line. But if we zoom over, this is where the name of the overlook comes from. This is the Castle Arch Overlook. This time of year, you make out the arch pretty well. Been on video there before. I'll be sure to put a link to that in the description below where you can check it out. Really nice arch, definitely worth the trip. I will mention there is another overlook called Castle Arch Overlook. A little obstructed by this tree and the fog right now. You come into it out the ridge opposite of Whistling Arch. Gives you a good look straight across it. Castle Arch. One last look from the Castle Arch Overlook. Making my way back out to the trip. I think I'm gonna head up 715, go up to uh, Whistling Arch, check out Whistling Arch and the Whistling Arch Overlook. Let's head that way.
Coming down on Whistling Arch. Hank leading the way. My buddy Rob's dog. Look down in the top side of Whistling Arch. Pretty nice little arch, one of the shortest tacks in the gorge. Now let's head on out here and check out the Whistling Arch overlook. Hiking with Huggy in action. Look down on the parched Corn Creek Valley from the Whistling Arch overlook. Leaving Whistling Arch, headed back out 715 now. Following my buddy Rob out through here, hiking with Huggy. If you want to check out his YouTube channel, I'll leave a link in the description below. Gonna head back out 715, go out and do the Rock Bridge loop. Try to get a few shots of Creation Falls and Rock Bridge. Had a little rain the other day, so hopefully Creation looks good today. See you there. to see since my last visit to Rockbridge looks like they have graded the road not near as many potholes out through here it's not perfectly smooth but much better than it was about a month ago headed down to check out Creation Falls and Rockbridge now been here on video before it's actually my first video i'll be sure to link that video in the description below if you want to check it out coming down on creation files now the parking lot's full at the trailhead so i'd imagine this is where everybody's likely to be at not sure if i'll be able to photograph it today or not looks like there's people all over the place we'll see Hank's enjoying his visit to Creation Falls. We got lucky. And pretty much everybody left as soon as we got here. And we had Creation all to ourselves. Any of the shots turned out any good. Here they are. Looks like wound up time in Rock Bridge and Creation Falls just right. Coming back out Rock Bridge Road, probably past 20 or 30 cars. Pretty crazy. But headed it on over to Lacabana now. Most important time of the day, lunchtime. Out to 
check out Pioneer Overlook now. This is on one of the short hike videos. I'll be sure to link it in the description below. Stop at Pioneer Overlook's gonna wrap up today's adventure up in the red. Spent the majority of the day up here. Got to hike with some friends, had some lunch at Lake Got to see several sites. Even got to go to a, a new to me place. Uh, Castle Arch Overlook there off of Skybridge Road. Pretty nice little overlook. Uh, got several links in the description to uh, some of the other videos. Link to my buddy Rob's channel, Hiking with Huggy. Be sure to check him out. Subscribe to his channel. Got some good content on there. More new content coming on the way pretty soon. I hope you enjoyed today's adventure. Black Friday in Red River Gorge. If you would, be sure to give me that thumbs up. It helps out the channel. If you haven't already, consider subscribing. Hope to see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching.